and this is me by the sun of the wishing tree, the one right there in the middle of the path. The original Dreaming Tree. In 1906, Elias Disney purchased the William Crane Farm located on the outskirts of Marceline, Missouri. The entire family was enlisted by Elias in Florida to help maintain the farm and tasked Walt, a young Walt with the responsibility of keeping an eye on his little sister Ruth. Walter and Ruth would often escape to this very location where they would find solitude under the dappled leaves of the majestic cottonwood tree that Walt would later name his Dreaming Tree. Ruth would often recall the fun times she shared with her big brother as they climbed the sturdy branches and played in the cool, tall grass under this intrinsic part of the very unique Midwest childhood. Elias rarely encouraged his youngest son to pursue his passion for drawing, never imagining that art would provide the basis for a well-paying career. Luckily, his very observant Aunt Margaret noticed a spark of artistic promise in her young nephew. Every visit, Margaret would covertly provide Walt with a big chief drawing tablet and a steady supply of sharpened pencils. This visionary gift gave Walt the ability to quietly lie beneath his dreaming tree and slowly hone his craft. Walt Disney has often credited this exact location as the birthplace of his creativity. Cottonwood trees typically have a lifespan between 70 and 100 years. Walt's dreaming tree lived to be 120 before it was struck by lightning in 2008. The remains of that historic tree eventually blew over during a fierce windstorm on May 28, 2005. Walt's dreaming tree was officially registered as a historic tree by American Forests. I'm putting this camera on the bench across from the site of the original dreaming tree and uh, we're going to just spend a couple minutes looking out on what Walt would have looked at if he was sitting underneath his tree. Now be aware that this is probably much more overgrown than when he was here but just take a minute and sit under the dreaming tree with Walt.